This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Luna Innovations, enabling the future with fiber. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World, with a peek at some of the cool things happening in photonics. Certain cockroach species are part of the cuisine in some cultures. Others have been used in traditional medicine for centuries. But run-of-the-mill cockroaches are a completely different and much more disgusting story. They're infamously resilient, but work at Harriet Watt University in the UK has proven they're not indestructible. Researchers there have developed a system combining laser light with artificial intelligence that can detect and ultimately eliminate cockroaches with extremely high accuracy as far away as 1.2 meters. The new system relies on machine vision and two cameras that map the cockroach's exact position to allow a laser to target it. On low power, the laser could change the cockroach's behavior, namely its position or direction, which could deter them from the dark places they like to hide. When the laser intensity and heat were increased, the cockroaches were neutralized. That's pretty effective and eco-friendly pest control. The new system is tunable, so it could eventually be used to exterminate mosquitoes or protect bee populations from predatory hornets. Right now, the researcher's next step is to scale down the system for use on farming vehicles and drones. An average mouse's skull is about as thick and opaque as a human fingernail. And a new microscope is allowing bioscientists to see right through it. Led by a team from the Center for Molecular Spectroscopy and Dynamics at the Institute for Basic Science in South Korea, researchers have developed a high-speed, 3D time-resolved holographic microscope that allows them to see the neural network under a mouse's intact skull. The new microscope, along with a wave correction algorithm, eliminates the multiple scattering and aberration that make obtaining sharp images of living tissue difficult. Essentially, removing multiple scattered waves and increasing the ratio of single scattered waves makes high resolution deep tissue imaging possible. The new holographic microscope also measures the amplitude and phase of light and selectively acquires optical signals at a specific depth using a light source with a very short interference length of about 10 microns. The team was able to achieve such in-depth imaging of the mouse's neural network in the visible wavelength range without altering its skull or using fluorescent labels. When your back is out of sorts, you know it, and you feel it everywhere. Sometimes, though, issues in the spine aren't immediately obvious, but they still can cause serious problems down the road. Now, a new optical fiber-based sensor could be just the way to cut that off at the pass. Developed by a team at the University of Tabriz in Iran, the sensor features three fiber cores for the light to pass through. It operates based on wavelength modulation in which the fiber core's material structure and density change when the optical fiber is bent. This modifies the core's refractive index and changes the output light wavelength based on how much the fiber was bent. The new sensor allows researchers to estimate the magnitude of the spine's curvature via the difference between input wavelengths and output light in a single fiber core. To measure the direction of the curvature, each of the three fiber cores must be bent differently to allow comparison of the output light's wavelengths and the outermost fiber cores. The researchers expect that the new sensor could become a safer, more convenient, and reliable tool than x-rays or other existing techniques. And that's your Photonics Hot List. For more information, visit laserfocusworld.com.